welcome to another router gods video my name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to create a topology with three routers basically in a straight line and we're going to call it practice topology number five so we got GNS3 up and running I'm going to drag in my favorite router it's the 3725 we'll drag in one there one in the middle and one on the right then we're going to close out our node types and we're going to connect them up. I'm going to click to add a link icon, go to R1, I'm going to go FAST00 on R2, FAST01, and on R2, FAST01 to R3's FAST00. I'm going to uncheck the add a link button and check show interface names. That way we could see everything labeled. I'm going to move over some of my labels, something like that. All right, I'm going to add some notes for our IP addresses. So for R1, loopback0 is going to be all ones, and that's going to be a slash 32. For R2, the loopback0 is going to be all twos, also going to be a slash 32. And then for R3, loopback0, and you guessed it, it's all threes. I'm going to move these over to each router. And then for the IP addressing scheme in between the routers, between R1 and R2, 10.10.12.x slash 24. And between R2 and R3, 10.10.23.x slash 24. Okay, I think we have our topology ready. If you want, you can go up to File and Save As and save it to your favorite folder. We're going to fire up the routers by clicking on the play button. And after waiting a couple seconds, after your hard drive finishes thrashing around, we're going to then click on the console button, which is just to the left of that, Telnet. And then it's going to bring up PuTTY if you're on a PC. Okay, those are all my console windows up. I'm going to move R2 and R3 out of the window here, so we're just dealing with one router at a time. All right. So working with R1, we're first going to change the host name. So enconft hostname R1. And then I have a notepad a window with some commands. You can see there are no IP domain lookup, line console zero, all that good stuff. I'm just going to copy this and simply right click into the window and it pastes in all of those commands. Now I just need to configure the loopback and the fast ethernet interface. So loopback zero, IP address, all ones, and it's a all two five fives. Whoops. Too many ones right there and too many dots. Okay, there we go, int fast 00, 10.10.12.1, and don't forget to no shut. We'll exit out, and do a quick WR for write mem, and then we'll move that window out of there. Go to R2, First change the host name. Host name R2, and we'll right click, paste in all those interesting basic commands. Gonna start with loopback zero, and that's gonna be all twos in a slash 32. Then we're gonna go into int fast zero zero, IP address 10.10.12.2, that's a slash 24, no shut int fast01 IP address 10.10.23.2 and no shut that as well. I'm going to exit out and do a WR to write the configuration to flash. I'm going to bring over R3 and as you guessed it pretty much the same deal here. I'm going to start off by changing the host name. Conf T, hostname, R3, right click to paste in my basic commands, 
start off with my loopback IP address, all threes, and int fast zero zero IP address ten ten twenty three three. That's a slash twenty four, and no shut. And now we're just going to do a ping from R3 to R2. So I'm going to do a ping 10, 10, 23, 2. We should have reply. There we go. Do a quick WR to save my configuration. And then I'm going to extract my configs by clicking this arrow sign and click extract to a directory. Okay, so that was a quick and easy video of making our practice topology 5. It's basically three routers in a straight line. This is going to let you play around with pretty much any type of routing protocol so you can see how it interacts as the routes go from R1 all the way to R3 and vice versa. You'll also get to see how R2 reacts and you'll see how its routing table is different from R1 and R3. This practice topology is also good if you're practicing with the MPLS when you're just starting out. So you could start MPLS on all three routers and see how the labels transition the routers. Alright, so thank you very much for watching. 